Hey, what's up guys? It's Garrett here. In this video, we're going to try to figure out, can you travel the world for the same price as going to Disneyland? So let's try to figure that out and dive on into it. Right off the bat here, guys, I want to make this very clear to you that all these numbers in here could definitely vary depending upon the person you are. What I mean by that is I didn't include anything of tax or fees that come with traveling. Also, I didn't include food cost or drink cost or if you went and got a tour guide or went snorkeling, I didn't include any of that. The things that I included was the cost of your flight, the cost of the hotels, and I made it for two people. Because, you know, if you go to Disneyland or if you travel the world, you're not going to go by yourself. You're going to bring someone. Also, one more thing before we get into the video is everything that we've calculated can vary in cost. What I mean by that is the plane tickets and the hotels, what I did is I booked them six months in advance. You know, if you book them... Um, a day in advance it's definitely going to be a lot higher than six months so just keep that in mind here that everything that you see is definitely not in an exact number you will be spending but it will be a very close one so now that we got that out of the way let's just get on into it and the first thing that we're going to be calculating is how much it cost us to go to Disneyland so I live in Ohio now Disneyland is in Anaheim California so a plane ticket from Ohio to California is going to cost $553 for two people and that's round trip, so there and back. And once we get there, we're going to be staying up in the hotel Paradise Pier, which is owned by Disney. And it's kind of in the realm of all Disney's attractions. So it's kind of right there in the middle. And I found that for $3.49 a night. But here comes the shocker, and that is we're staying at this hotel for a total of 20 nights. And I know you guys know that's a long time to stay at Disneyland for. But remember, we're comparing this to traveling the world. And when we travel the world, we're going to go to four different places and stay in each place for five nights. And I've picked five nights to stay at each place because traveling the world or going to these kind of cities is kind of a one in a lifetime kind of deal. So I figured five nights would be perfect for enough time for you to explore the city and actually take in what it has to bring you. So with that being said, it's going to cost us just shy of $7,000 to stay at this hotel. And the next thing that we have to buy and the final thing that we're going to put on here is our admission ticket to be able to get into Disneyland. Now, for two people for five days, it's going to cost us $720, but for a total of 20 days, it's going to be about $2,800. So in total, our Disneyland trip is going to cost us $10,413 for everything besides our food and souvenirs and things like that. Now it's time to compare our Disney trip to how much it's going to cost us to travel the world. And what I mean by traveling the world is going around the world completely one time. So the cities that are on our list is Fiji, Tokyo, Nice, and the Bahamas. The first place that we're going to be going to is Nadi, Fiji. Now we're going to be leaving Columbus, Ohio and we're going to be traveling down to Nadi and that's going to cost us $1,700 for two plane tickets one way. Now once we get there we're going to be going to the Gateway Hotel which is going to cost us $42 per night and we're going to be staying there a total of five nights. So in total our cost for a five night stay in Fiji is going to be $1,900. From Fiji we're going to be going to Tokyo. Now our plane cost for that is going to be just over $1,000 for two people and once we land in Tokyo it's going to be about a 28 minute drive from the airport to our hotel which our hotel per night is going to be about $59 and we're going to stay there for a total of five nights and as you can see by the pictures here it's a very nice hotel for only $59 a night now remember there are going to be taxes and fees included in hotel staying but again I'm keeping all of that out of it but our total cost is going to be about $1,300 for our stay in Tokyo. Then from Tokyo, we're going to be going over to Nice. Now, our plane tickets for that is $1,200. And once we land, our airport is pretty close to our hotel. So we won't have a whole lot of money wrapped up in transportation fees. And once we get to the hotel, it's going to cost us $69 per night. And as you can see, again, this hotel is very nice for the money. And in total, our cost is going to be about $1,500 for our stay in Nice. Then from Nice, we're going to be traveling over to the Grand Bahamas. Now, by far, this is the most expensive plane ticket that we bought yet, which is coming in at $2,200. Now, when we arrive in the Bahamas, it's going to be about a 12-minute car ride from the airport to our hotel, which is the Island Seas Resort. Now, you can take a look at all these pictures here. It's a very nice resort, and it's going to cost us $97 per night. Now, in total, 
our Grand Bahama stay is going to be about $2,700. Then the very final plane that we have to take is from the Grand Bahamas back to Columbus where I live and that's going to cost $683 for two people. When we calculate up our total expenses for traveling to those four different places, it's going to be $8,100, which is just over $2,000 cheaper than staying at Disneyland. Now this definitely could have went either way and what I mean by that is if we would have added two or three more places to stop on our worldwide trip it probably would have been a little bit more than going to Disneyland but the whole reason why I made this video was because I started to see a lot of people comment on other people's Instagram feed or TikTok feed or Twitter feed saying that the only reason they're able to travel the world is because they're rich. Now granted that is a very good reason why you travel the world is because you have extra money and you want to go see things but also you guys can see in this example we're able to go to four different places all around the world for under ten thousand dollars now i understand this is not include food cost or drink cost or souvenir none of that stuff but you could definitely do it for under fifteen thousand if you cannot survive on seven thousand dollars worth of food in 20 days you know think about it you can definitely do this if you're smart on trying to find the best deals on airplane tickets trying to find the best deals on hotel tickets if you want to go snorkeling trying to find the best deals on that what i'm trying to show you guys is if you're smart with budgeting your money you can definitely do the same thing that you see everybody else on instagram or everybody else on tiktok that's filthy rich doing i really understand for you guys out there that are not able to leave work for 20 days to be able to go travel the world or you have people to support and you can't just do this but for the people that are able to do this stop making excuses for yourself traveling the world is just not for the rich now if you do have that extra money it might make it a little bit better because you know you might be able to afford a little bit more things along the way but traveling the world is just about going to see things and about making memories doing so so what I'm trying to say here is if you're smart with budgeting your money if you're able to find the best deals out there no matter what your income status is you're able to do it so that's pretty much all that I have for you guys and if you like the video all that I ask is if you push that like button and I will see you on the next one